Hi, this is Frederick from the Techno Label, Detroit, Berlin, and today another module. Today I will be talking about the Precision Adder from Durfer, the A185-2. If you ask me what is your favorite Durfer module, chances are I might say the Precision Adder. Although the complex envelope generator slash LFO from the very first episode I did is also one of my favorite ones, very underrated module. Please check that video out if you haven't already. I think the precision adder from Duffer is one of the most powerful, simple modules out there. And I'll explain right away what it does, how I use it and why it is so great, that module. So please bear with me, I have my matriarch hooked up with some sounds, I'll do some sounds, some tweaking, but first I'll explain what the precision adder is all about. You've got a few inputs, a few outputs, and one of the great things I think from the precision adder is that it is connected to the bus board, so it sends control voltages also to the bus board if you choose so by um, adding a jumper on the back of the PCB. Jumper is already there, you just need to select if you send positive or negative or no uh, CVs, control voltages, to the bus board. I'll explain in a bit what that actually means. Um, so let's just first go over all the ins and the outs. There's four inputs. They take control voltages, they take signals, but most of the time I use them with control voltages. You can for each of them, add them with the switch or subtract them from the mix. The mix, you've got three outs, just all the same. That's the positive and then you also got the inverted one. So if you put everything in negative, there's going to come a negative voltage out of those ones and the inverted one will be actually a positive voltage. If you put them all in positive, you will get a positive out of the positive and you will get the inverted voltage out of the negative one. I hope this isn't already too complex because it's actually really simple. Put them in the middle, they're bypassed, so if you add like an LFO to the lowest one, you put it on off, it does nothing. Put it on plus, the LFO, when it goes up, it will add some volt. When it goes down the LFO, when the LFO goes into minus, then it will subtract. Um, the inverted one, it's just the same signal, but inversed. So this module, it has four ins. Um, if you don't plug anything in these ins, it gives 
one volt. So when you put it on plus, it adds one volt and subtracts one volt if you put it in the minus position. What this means is you actually, if you're sending it to a pitch, you go an octave up or an octave down. Um, because you have multiple switches, you have multiple octaves to go up or down. If you put one in plus, one in minus, it does nothing because, yeah, the end result is the same. The first one, though, it has kind of an attenuator. When you put it on plus and it's all the way down, it doesn't add anything. But when you turn it all the way up, it adds one volt or one octave if you send it to pitch. And you can actually yeah, control it, so you can attenuate it. That's very handy to tune stuff. The application I've got going on right here, and I'll first make some sounds so I can explain what is going on. It's not in tune. I will turn up the sounds from the matriarch. So now I'm combining the tip top and the matriarch and it will sound awful because the oscillators are not in tune. They're in tune with each other, but not with the matriarch. And with the precision adder, I can really easily tune all the oscillators by a certain amount and I will get something that is in tune. So let me see. So now it's in tune. Now it's in tune when I put it on off. It's not in tune anymore. So what I'm actually doing, let me first play the note A four times. Then all the oscillators will turn to the note A. And you can read on the tip top oscillators that it's actually, this one is a little bit sharp. So let me put it a little bit more flat, like this. This one is pretty high up there. So now it's pretty okay. So now it's in tune and it's sending everything to the bus board. I'm also controlling every tip top oscillator with its uh, control voltage input. So actually they're adding and I can both use this. Let's just see what it does when I have nothing plugged into the second, third and fourth one. And when I switch the switches. Three octaves up. Where I started, and now three octaves down. So let me put it back into mono mode. And of course, the matriarch is not being adjusted by it because the precision adder is only sending volts to the tip top oscillators. So now I silence the matriarch. That's all great. Let me take a few cables. So that was just using 
the volts that it's adding or subtracting in the module itself but I can do some external stuff like this so let's see I've got the complex envelope generator the mix output so it's a complex uh, LFO actually let's put it on LFO mode so now it's like really complex and let's listen to what it will do it's really affecting the sound by a big amount let's just turn this mix all the way down so it's way more subtle So that's only one. I can also, let me see, I have one ADSR envelope going to this one. Let me put it in plus. Let me first unplug or just put it in the off position like this one. But it's better to just plug it out then so it rises and then it drops the neat thing is when i add the oscillators from the matriarch so i've got four matriarch oscillators and four tip top ones the pitch bend like the rise and fall of the pitch caused by the ADSR it will only affect the tip top uh, oscillators and then yeah it will give like a, a weird sound where one of the pitches is going up and the other one is staying steady but they're starting and ending at the same pitch or the same pitch interval and that gives like really spacey sound That creates a really nice atmosphere, I think. So let's continue to the module. Um, I don't think there is much more to say. You can feed it all kinds of control voltages. And yeah, it's a very simple module. It just adds and subtracts voltages. And it gives you three outs where it's yeah going positive the non-inverted version and then one uh, inverted version it's very cost effective i have already two of these one in my performance case and one here connected to all the tip top uh, oscillators via the bus board which is really great because i don't need to connect anything i have all the CV inputs from the modules free to put in the, the, the pitch uh, control from my MIDI to CV converter to be able to play it uh, polyphonic or paraphonic and yeah it, it, it's a small module doesn't cost a lot it's really easy to switch octaves so let me just grab a polyphonic sound
let's put it on hold and uh, now So I hope you really enjoyed this yeah, rather short video about this really interesting module from Dofer. It's a small module that's affordable and it does a lot of stuff with adding and subtracting voltages, mixing voltages. I would highly recommend to invest in a module like that. I have put the link in the description down below. Also, all my modules in the system, or close to all my modules, are being put in a list in the description down below. These are affiliate links, so if you're interested in a module and you follow the link and you buy something or even something else, the channel will get a small percentage. It won't cost you anything more than it would otherwise, but yeah, you will be able to support the channel a little bit. and. I will be able to invest further into modules that yeah I can review I can do a tutorial of and share my experience and ideas for yeah using these modules and what I think about them um, that would be great and I hope you enjoyed this episode I would like to thank you very much and hopefully see you next time Bye-bye.